Juneteenth in America, we celebrate this day for the freedom of slavery. The virus exposed a lot about this country and George Floyd sparked a fuse to something that the world was pretty much ignoring. Something has to change. We cannot continue the systemic racism that's been going on. And the first pandemic is slavery. A new day slavery is working for a company like Amazon, where minimum wage is fifteen fifty. You can't survive off of that. And we're talking about working for the richest man in the world. Amazon exploits black and brown employees, and myself included, you know, firing a number of us over the course of this pandemic. I've seen a number of white employees get promoted right over me with less experience. So all Amazon employees, I'm asking them to call out of work or sick out on Juneteenth and participate in local demonstrations in your communities and just boycott the company altogether. Don't purchase anything. Um, if you have a Prime account, we're urging people to cancel it. Whole Foods, boycott Whole Foods. Amazon subsidiaries, about 30 something of them, do not use any of these services, purchase only from black owned businesses for that day. And lastly, post a picture of somebody from a different ethnicity. So I will post a picture of me with a, a white person and do a hashtag Global Unity 2020. Putting an end to capitalism ties into putting an end to racism. The people at the top, are majority white. The essential workers of the world are majority black and brown, and the people at the bottom that work the hardest suffer the most. On Juneteenth, I will be in Oakland, California with my brothers and sisters of the ILWU, Longshoremen Union. This union is going to be shutting down all 29 ports on the West Coast for the entire day. And remember all the victims of police brutality, and for us to fight systemic racism, we want to defund the police, make a new system for the communities and continue to fight.